Hi, my name is Hina and I'm a patient navigator at KindBody. Today we're going to be going over the Folistim injection. The first thing you want to do before you start taking your injection is to get out everything that you need for the injection. You'll need your Folistim pen, which is going to come in a white box that will say Folistim pen on it. When you receive it, it's going to be empty and not have any medication in it. And you're going to need a cartridge of medication. I'd like you to note, though, that there are different denominations of the cartridges. So this one happens to be a 600 unit cartridge, but it does come in 300 units and also in 900 units. So please pay attention to the denomination that you have. In Inside of this box, you'll find a tray, and inside the tray will be additional needles and also a cartridge of the Folistim medication. Then what you're going to do is take out two alcohol wipes like this, and this is everything you're going to need for your injection, your Folistim pen, your cartridge, a needle, and two alcohol wipes. Before you start setting everything up, make sure that you wash your hands thoroughly. Then you can come back and start assembling your pen. The pen has a cap just like a regular pen that you're just gonna pull off like this and place to the side. Then you're gonna twist this yellow portion of the pen away from the blue and it will disassemble as so. Then you're gonna take your cartridge. The metal strip that's at the top is gonna go down towards the bottom of this part of the pen. And then you're gonna take your spring and place it into the bottom of the cartridge. And you're gonna push down and twist tight until both of these shapes match up. Then you're going to take one of your alcohol wipes and you're going to clean off the top of the pen like this. You're going to take your needle, you're going to pull off the tab. Be careful because there is a needle on the inside that's used to puncture the top of the pen. You're going to place the needle on the pen and twist it tight. Then you're going to remove the outer cap and you're going to remove the inner cap. If for some reason you ever have to put your pen down, Make sure that you put the cap back on before you place it on any surface because if that needle touches anything, it will become contaminated. Now, the first time that you assemble the cartridge into the pen, you have to remove the air from inside the cartridges. That's called priming. And the way that you prime is that you're gonna take this dial, this is the yellow dial here, and you're gonna turn it towards you one click like this and then you're gonna push it back in the opposite direction to bring it back to zero while holding the pen upright. Sometimes you'll get a little fluid that comes out, sometimes you won't get anything. But just know if you have done that step, the air has come out. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna dial your dose and every dose is different for every patient. Um, your dose will be given to you by your patient navigator. They'll let you know how much medication you're to take. Let's say, for example, I'm taking 150 units of medication. So what we're gonna do is turn this dial towards me until I get 150 in the window. And there's a little dot in front of the 150 and that should line up with the little carrot that sticks out on the dial. Now the injection is ready to take. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select a spot on my abdomen. What you wanna do is look for your belly button and go one inch or more away from the belly button, anywhere where you can pinch. You're gonna clean it off with alcohol, like this. You're gonna take your pen, and the best way to hold the pen is actually to wrap your fingers around it like this. It gives you good control. And pinch your skin, and then you're gonna go in at a 90 degree angle to give yourself the injection. You'll use your thumb to eject the medicine. Make sure that this yellow part is completely flush to the blue. That's how you know that the medicine has been ejected. You're gonna let go of your hand. You're gonna hold for five seconds and then you can remove the needle. The next step is to make sure that you got all of the medicine. So you're gonna look at the dial and make sure that it went back down to zero. And if it says zero, that means you've received all of the medication. You're gonna put the cap on to remove the needle. Make sure you push down tightly and then twist off and the needle will come off. And you're gonna place this needle and any needle that you have will always go into your biohazard box. It's a red box that has a biohazard symbol on it and all of the needles will go into there. Then you're gonna take your cap place it onto the pen like this, and then you're gonna place your pen in the fridge. The next day, you're gonna take the pen out, remove the cap, and you've already primed this cartridge, so you don't have to do it every single time you take an injection, just the first time you load it into the pen. So this day, since it's already loaded in the pen, I would just clean the top off with alcohol. I'll take out a new needle, let's say this is a new needle, and I'll place that on top of the pen like this, twist it on, take off the cap and dial my dose and give myself the injection. Let's say accidentally 
I had overshot and I dialed too much. What you don't want to do is go try to go back to 100 because you can see you lose all the medication if you do that. Instead, pull the whole piece out that is the dial, okay, you're going to go past all the numbers, so you'll get a plastic piece in the window here, and then you're just going to push and it's going to go back to zero without losing any medication. So that's one way to reset it. You want to use every last drop of the medication. Though it says 600, you can sometimes squeeze 700 or 750 out of the cartridge. For this, for example, if I'm taking 150, I'll have four doses, four complete doses. On the fifth day, I would still dial my dose to 150, so I would pull this down to 150, take off my cap, take off my inner cap. I would still go ahead and give myself the injection, even though I know I've taken my four doses from here, right? You still want to do this. So the 600s are overfilled, the 900s are overfilled, the 300s are all overfilled. You want to use uh, the medication to the last drop. Every unit of this medication is a dollar, so you want to get your money's worth. As you're giving the injection, what's going to happen is it's going to stop and it's not going to go any further. So you're going to push, 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 and nothing happens, okay? Then you're going to let go of your hand that's pinching your skin, hold the needle for five seconds, and then remove it. You'll notice your dial never went back down to zero and it stopped on a number. It happened that this happened to stop on 75. That number is what you need to give yourself from another cartridge because this cartridge is finished. So we're gonna take the needle off to get this um, finished cartridge out. So you first have to take the needle off. Then you're gonna take out the yellow part here by twisting it away from the blue. You're gonna take this cartridge and throw it in the trash. Take out a brand new cartridge from a new box. Okay, let's say this is a new cartridge from a new box. And you're gonna place that into your pen. You're gonna twist this on tight. Make sure your shapes match up. Now this is a new cartridge, so we have to prime it. So I'm gonna clean the top off with alcohol. And take another new needle. This is my, again, single use, so you wanna change every time. Take off the cap, take off the safety cap that's usually on the inside. And now this button, I'm gonna make sure that it's still on 75. The dial still says 75. So I'm gonna turn it towards me one click like this and back one click. That gets my air bubble out and it's back on 75 now. So I can give myself the remainder of the medication. Remember, don't do any math. You, what you wanna do is give yourself whatever that number is in that window. I'm pinching, I'm going in at a 90 degree angle and I'm giving myself the remainder of the medication. And then when I take the pen out, the dial should say zero. That means I've gotten everything that I need. And that's how you take the Falstam injection.